Pisces. You need to know this right now for February the 17th through February the 18th, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Pisces for February the 17th through February the 18th, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see. For the star sign of Pisces for February the 17th through February the 18th, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see. For the star sign of Pisces for February the 17th through February the 18th, 2023. <clears throat> Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Pisces. Pisces, these are your cards, honey. So, Pisces, you have the Hierophant. Could be dealing with a Taurus, but the Hierophant speaks to the leader of a religious organization, the leader of a metaphysical organization. This is a clergyman, a pastor, a preacher, a teacher, a coach, a mentor, a counselor, someone of wise counsel. This is the institution of higher learning. This is a corporate institution. This is the marriage card. So listen, Pisces could be dealing with a Taurus, but you guys may be in a commitment. Someone may have commitment on the brain here. This can be about forgiveness. This can be dealing with an institution, organization, governmental agency, religious differences or values. Clarify the Hierophant for Pisces. Clarify the Hierophant for Pisces. Clarify the Hierophant for Pisces. It is clarified with you, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer, the King of Cups. This king is a very loving, kind, compassionate king. He's fair and balanced in his emotions, but he does not wear his emotions on his sleeve. He's in complete control of his emotions. So Pisces, this is you. Clarify the king of cups for Pisces. Clarify the king of cups for Pisces. What about Pisces? What about Pisces? Clarify the king of cups. For Pisces, it is clarified with the page of cups. Scorpio Cancer of Pisces. This is news or a message about a deep emotional connection. These are love messages or news of love. But this could also be the news about what love produce because there's a fish in this cup. So love messages and an apology. Now you could be receiving love messages and an apology. You could be sending out love messages and an apology. Very well could be that we found love messages and heard the news of someone sharing love or some news about what love produce because pages are children and there's a fish in this cup. Clarify the page of cups for Pisces. Clarify the page of cups for Pisces. Clarify the page of cups for Pisces. It is clarified with the three of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is making plans to meet up, making plans to partner up, to work together on a contract or a project. This is teamwork. This is collaboration. Now, this can speak to there being a third party involved, but this can also speak to you being willing to work on it or put in the work. So, Pisces, listen, this could all be work or business. You can tell me that you're willing to work on it, willing to put in the work. This can be some type of an agreement or a contract collaboration, or there's a third party. Now, listen, Pisces, very well could be some good news coming in from an institution, organization, governmental agency. Could be work or business. Could be some good news coming in with some type of an a, a, you know agreement here with an agency, okay? Some type of an agreement or contract collaboration. However, you can tell me that there's an apology either coming in from you or from them to work things out here, okay? This is about forgiveness. But this could also be some type of romantic news, wanting to go into a contract here, maybe with commitment here, okay? <clears throat> Pisces, you have the sun. 
could be dealing with a Leo. But the sun symbolizes exuberance, illumination, happiness, joy, peace, love, abundance, growth and development and freedom. So Pisces could be dealing with a Leo, but you can tell me that you're happy. You want to be happy. You're over the moon here or something was illuminated. Something came to light. Clarify the sun for Pisces. Clarify the sun for Pisces. Clarify the sun for Pisces. It is clarified with the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This king is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. This could be a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. So Pisces could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone with Earth prominent in their charts. However, when we're dealing with the King of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles is a married, stable, committed person. So you could be dealing with a spouse. King of Pentacles is a nurturing father figure. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child. Could be dealing with someone you work with or do business with or have some type of joint assets, resources, and property with or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Clarify the King of Pentacles. For Pisces, clarify the King of Pentacles. For Pisces, clarify the King of Pentacles. For Pisces, it is clarified with judgment. Now, judgment could be you passing your own final verdict and judgment over you guys' relationship. Judgment could be the final verdict and judgment in a legal court case. But judgment is forgiveness and resurrection of the relationship. Second chances. So, Pisces, listen, you could be passing your own final verdict and judgment here. Someone could be asking for forgiveness and a second chance. Or we're dealing with something illegal. Clarify judgment for Pisces. Clarify judgment for Pisces. Clarify judgment for Pisces. It is clarified with the two of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you needing to make a decision, but you're in the dark about some things. Some things you just refuse to see, refuse to acknowledge, a lack of information, block communication. So it's hard for you to make an informed decision in this position. But this is also a card of you being closed off, blocked off, not wanting to see, wanting to ignore, wanting to turn a blind eye. So Pisces, listen, either you're indecisive or you're blocking here. Now, Pisces, you can tell me that something was illuminated and your judgment is to block communication because it very well could be that there was a third party that you found love messages and heard the news of them sharing love. However, Pisces, you can tell me that, yes, something was illuminated, but they're asking for forgiveness in a second chance and you're indecisive on whether or not to give this forgiveness in a second chance. However, Pisces, <clears throat> you could also tell me that you want to be happy, and this is about stability here, okay? Maybe someone has commitment on the brain, and again, maybe you're indecisive. Pisces, you have the five of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is conflict. This is fussing, fighting, disagreements, arguments, jealousy, competition, drama. But this can also speak to you being conflicted within about something. So Pisces, listen, you can tell me that you're conflicted within about something or some type of conflict, disagreement, argument, drama has taken place here. Clarify the five of wands for Pisces. Clarify the five of wands for Pisces. Clarify the five of wands for Pisces. It is clarified with the magician. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you're trying to manifest, trying to make something happen. And you have all the tools and resources available to you to manifest whatsoever you will. You have the water element, the earth element, the air element, the fire element, and the ethers. So with great focus and intent, you can manifest. So Pisces could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you're trying to make something happen here. Clarify the magician for Pisces. Clarify the magician for Pisces. Clarify the magician for Pisces. It is clarified with the Wheel of Fortune. This is divine timing at play. This is the karmic wheel of destiny. This is a faded event. This is change in your luck and fortune. Where this wheel can spin and you can have good luck and fortune. Or this wheel can spin the other way and things can get a little rocky for you. So Pisces, listen, you can tell me that everything between you guys has changed. You can tell me it's an actual change in your luck and fortune. Or this is about divine timing. 
Clarify the Wheel of Fortune for Pisces. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune for Pisces. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune for Pisces. It is clarified with strength. Could be dealing with a Leo, but the universe is calling for you to have strength, courage, determination, motivation to keep moving forward and to do the right thing. But this is also a card of you trying to tame your lust, tame your passions, trying to restrain yourself, restrict yourself and hold yourself back from something. So Pisces, listen, could be dealing with a Leo, but you can tell me that you're feeling extremely weak here. You can tell me that you're restraining yourself, restricting yourself and holding yourself back. Or trying to muster the strength and courage to do something. Clarify strength for Pisces. Clarify strength for Pisces. Clarify strength for Pisces. It is clarified with the three of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we are reunited and it feels so good. Let's go out, eat, drink, and be merry and celebrate. Celebrate that we're reunited and it feels so good. But this can also speak to there being a third party situation going on. So Pisces, listen, you very well could have just cause to celebrate here. Tell me that you guys are reuniting or there's a third party. Now, Pisces, you may have just cause to celebrate. Very well could be a change in your luck and fortune, but maybe you're holding it back and not telling anyone here because maybe you're conflicted with them concerning your judgment or decision to take this good news here, okay? Dealing with some type of institution, organization, governmental agency. Pisces, you can tell me that, you know, you're conflicted within and maybe holding back about reuniting with this person, okay? Maybe you just need some time because, like I said, you still have to make a decision here. You may be indecisive. However, you can tell me that everything between you guys has changed, that this person is wanting to reunite, but there was a third party and it caused some type of conflict. Pisces, you have the moon. This is you, Pisces, but the moon symbolizes secrets or things that are not yet known. It can symbolize moodiness, depression, vivid dreams, deep emotions, intuition, but secrets. So Pisces, this is you. Clarify the moon for Pisces. Clarify the moon for Pisces. What about Pisces? What about Pisces? Clarify the moon for Pisces. It is clarified with the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leora Sag. This queen is a very fiery, feisty, bold, and confident energy. Someone who handles their business with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. You could be dealing with this Aries, Leora Sagittarius, or someone with fire prominent in their charts. However, you could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Wands. Now, the Queen of Wands is someone who's highly motivated, a self-starter, someone who gets things done and makes things happen with a lot of passion. So you could be dealing with a fire sign or you're wanting to take action here. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Pisces. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Pisces. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Pisces. It is clarified with the devil. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, but this devil energy can speak of a toxic energy that is looming over you guys as relationship. And what makes it toxic is this restrictive and binding. Someone may be obsessive, possessive, controlling, abusive. Someone may have an addiction to sex, drugs, drinking, smoking, working too much, money, attention, gambling, sports, video games, eating too much, anything that a person does too much of. Or someone here is in a full-blown relationship somewhere else causing this toxic energy to loom over you guys' relationship. So listen, Pisces could be dealing with a Capricorn, but when we're dealing with this devil energy, this can speak of something being toxic, restrictive, and binding. This can speak of a legal binding contract, but also temptation. Clarify the devil for Pisces. Clarify the devil for Pisces. Clarify the devil for Pisces. It is clarified with the Seven of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone lying, cheating, stealing, being manipulative, trying to get away with something. Someone being deceptive. Someone strategically devising a plan of action. Someone being sneaky, trying to escape, trying to get away with something. So Pisces, listen, some type of lying, cheating, deceptiveness here, sneakiness or sneaking off. 
listen, you can tell me that there's been some type of deception making it toxic. And there's, this is the reason why you're taking the action that you're taking here, okay? Like I said, they may want to reunite with you. They may be asking for forgiveness and a second chance. But you're indecisive here. Maybe conflicted within about reuniting with this person. Pisces, you have the page of wands. <clears throat> Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is news or a message about a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, this can be the news about the spark of a new idea. The news, a message about some type of passionate action that needs to take place. But this wand is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So passionate messages or news of passion. So Pisces, listen, <clears throat> you could be sending out passionate messages. You could be receiving passionate messages. Very well could be that we found passionate messages and heard the news of someone sharing passion. Or this is a heated discussion or argument. Clarify the page of wands for Pisces. Clarify the page of wands for Pisces. Clarify the page of wands for Pisces. It is clarified with justice. Could be dealing with a Libra, but you may be calling for karmic justice, saying, you know what? I'm a good person. I put good out there. I'm just expecting that good to return to me. Or you're saying that someone did me so wrong and so dirty, I'm calling for karmic justice. I want them to get exactly what they deserve. Or you're dealing with something in the justice system. So listen, Pisces could be dealing with a Libra, but you can tell me that, hey, something isn't fair, something isn't balanced, something isn't just. You can tell me that someone wants to come in and right a wrong and bring justice to a situation. Or we're dealing with something in the justice system. Clarify justice for Pisces. Clarify justice for Pisces. Clarify justice for Pisces. It is clarified with the Six of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is balance, equality, reciprocity, equal give and take. This is matching the efforts, energy, time, love, patience, resources, and responsibilities in a relationship. This is balance, but this can also speak to the merchant giving to two, being generous and giving to two. This is also a payout card, a gifting someone card, assisting someone card. So listen, Pisces, you can tell me that something is off balance here. Something could be off balance with the giving and receiving. You may be giving something here, receiving something here. Or you're telling me that someone was giving more somewhere else, giving to two. Now, Pisces, listen, you guys could have had a heated discussion or argument because something is off balance. Both these cards speak of balance here, okay? You can tell me that something wasn't fair, balance, and just you guys had an argument because there's some type of short changing here, okay? could also tell me that we found passionate messages and heard the news of someone sh uh, sharing passion. They were giving more somewhere else, giving to two with a third party, and that's the deception making it toxic here. And you feel like it wasn't fair, balanced, or just, okay? And you may be like indecisive on whether or not you want to forgive or whether or not you want to go into this agreement here because something could be a little fishy. Pisces, you need to know this right now for February the 17th through February the 18th, 2023. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.